Commander Richards. If you are reading this, it means that the photonic quantum drive worked and you made a successful journey to the future. According to our telemetry data and predicted revolutions of the Earth through space, you should have appeared close to this spot, which is where we have left this letter for you. We are all naturally dead at your point in time, as we are unable to prevent the device from enacting its ultimate program in our timeline. However, you should, as we have discussed, be able to gather enough data in the future to enable us to work out a weakness in the device's program in the past to defeat either the original program or hopefully the entire device program race and its ultimate program. During your reconnaissance, use your digital scopes to gather visual data. We cannot be sure whether or not the pictures will continue to exist on your return uh, because in theory, if your mission is a success and you return with the correct data, the future you are currently witnessing will cease to exist. Or uh, it could continue to exist, but, but in a different timeline, in which case you will have moved through dimensions rather than simply through time. Greg in quantum mechanics, however, seems to think that, that you move both in time and space as a result of your jump. He came in the other day waving a coat hanger and a globe and, and tried to demonstrate something about the space-time continuum, but, but none of us could understand what he was on about. Uh, and incidentally, we, we came up with a range of names for this mission as part of a brainstorm we had once you'd left it. Here's what we came up with. Uh, future Trek. Future Jump. Future Trek. 3000. Future Jump. 3000. Operation Future Jump. Chrono Crisis, T Time Tour, Time Trek, Time Jump, Time of Your Life, Time Trek, 3000. Personally, I liked Chrono Crisis. But, but in the end, we went with Dan's suggestion, which was Future Jump 3000. Basically, he just added 3000 to everyone else's suggestions, which no one else seemed to spot. The, the, the important thing, however, is that now you have arrived at your destination in time, you must proceed immediately to the point on the map marked with an X. This is where you will find essential medical equipment and food supplies for your stay in the future. Our, uh, <clears throat> our simulations predict that following the activation of the device and the subsequent death of all living matter on the planet, the atmosphere will have become a deadly mix of poisonous, potentially lethal gases. So there is unlikely to be anything edible in the vicinity. In addition, we speculate that it is highly likely that following the device's activation, over the intervening period, the device will have produced billions of atom-sized nanobot waste particles. So it is, as we say, vital that you find the area marked on the map, which should be within an hour or so's walk, depending on how quickly you, you run. With we're sorry this letter and um, the essential medical and food supplies are not actually in the same place. While it would seem to be logical to put everything together, during the brainstorm, Dan pointed out that if we separated everything up, there was less chance of it being discovered. Also, uh, <clears throat> Chloe reckoned that it was illogical thinking that would confuse the device, again giving us a greater chance of success. While I'm at it, uh, I should probably apologize for the state of this map. Uh, we ran out of magic markers, markers after the brainstorm session, and all there was left in the drawer was a fluorescent pen and one of Chloe's lipsticks. But, but, but if, you, if you hold it up to the light, uh, assuming the sun's rays can penetrate the dense clouds of deadly gases, you should be fine. <clears throat> Once you have located the medical equipment, food supplies, etc., then proceed immediately to the point on the map marked with a box with a cross on it, like a, like a church with a tower. This is the location of the hidden ECM system you'll need to mask the naturally occurring electrical activity in your body from the device's senses. Without it, you're vulnerable to detection by the device. Don't mix it up with the point on the map marked with a circle and a cross, like a church with a steeple. Yeah, yeah well, that's where we predict the device's main defenses will be located based on our projections. 
Uh, and the batteries to make the ECM system work are marked on the map by the symbol for a disused lighthouse. <laughs> we believe at your time in history, the device will have migrated predominantly below ground, where it will be using the Earth's geothermal energy as a power source, but with enough hardware above ground to allow for communication with other device elements in the galaxy. Your main target is above ground, and marked on the map with two cross swords. This is where Chloe's projection suggests one of the device's main terrain interfaces will be located. We don't know exactly what it will look like, but it is vital you get close enough for detailed images of its composition. Now, I come to think of it, uh, you might not have actually met Chloe. Uh, uh, I think she started with us a couple of months after you left from Cybermark Industries. She and I had a, had a bit of a thing for a few weeks after the Christmas party, but but well, you know, we're both incredibly busy, what with everything that's been going on, just didn't really work out. We're still good friends and, and everything, which is the main thing. <laughs> it's funny, really, uh, thinking about it, uh, how none of this matters anymore, and you're reading this after we've been dead for maybe a few thousand years. Anyway, um, make sure you don't approach the device without the cover of the ECM, or it will detect your electrical activity and defend itself. Dan has designed the ECM to last for approximately three hours once you're in range of the device. And after that, you'll need to recharge the batteries. But you should have plenty of time. Yeah? Dan, Dan, you may be interested to know, started seeing Chloe not long after she and I decided mutually that it just wasn't the right time for us to get involved in a long-term relationship. I, th I think they tried to, to keep it a secret from everyone, but sooner or later these things come out. Yeah? It was the same with her and me. Let's not tell anyone, she said. It's better that way. But like I say, it's, it's hard to keep a secret, really. And, and I ended up seeing the two of them together outside her flat one night, and the game was up, as they say. I think they're out together tonight, while I'm writing this in the lab. Everyone started having device parties, because we all know it's just a matter of time. But someone's got to make sure stuff gets done. This letter wasn't just going to write itself out. I mean, I, I could be out there. Having a good time with some gorgeous lab assistant too at some big party or whatever, but no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm here with piles of data to analyze from the device. Even Greg's gone out. But that's fine, it's fine. I've had this strange sense of calm come over me the past few days. And I really feel like, like I'm here to make a difference. After all, you're reading this. Aren't you? <laughs> and and, and you're, you're the last living creature on the planet. And where's Dan and Chloe? Hmm? Atoms of dust, that's where. <laughs> and who cares? Not me. I'll tell you that for nothing. So, so uh, anyway, um, you, you've, you've gathered the data, taken the pictures, hopefully you've, you've, not, you've not been caught if Dan's crappy ECM's working properly. To be honest, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the fucking thing breaks down he's that shit at his job. He spends more time on Facebook than he does on anything else. Just, look, just because he's got 3,000 fucking friends or whatever and he was voted sexiest scientist in some poll, he thinks that gives him the right to chat on the net with schoolgirls all day. He keeps going on about how it's important for PR and funding and, and that. And I can't see how he's making any money out of it all. I wouldn't mind if they sent him cash, but all he gets in the post are dodgy pictures and knickers. I mentioned it to Chloe once. She just accused me of being a pervert, which I can't even believe. So, um, that, that's about it. The photonic batteries for you to get home with are, are somewhere near the place on the map that, that looks like a windmill. They should work, I suppose. Good luck with Future Jump 3000, etc. The future of the human race is in your hands. Yours, Dave.